So hi developers, this is Code with Behram and in today's video I'm going to show you how to integrate and install Font Awesome icons in Laravel Inertia Vue.js project. So in my recent project I have faced some issues integrating the Font Awesome uh, API and package in my Laravel Inertia Vue.js project and I thought that uh, why should not make a video on it so uh, no one further will face that issue. So let's get started. So first of all we have to create a Laravel project so for that I have uh, already created a folder in my XAMPP htdocs folder so we will install a Laravel project using composer so we will execute the command composer create project and we'll write Laravel slash Laravel so here I want to give you a quick tip which is if you want to install the Laravel project in your current directory and you do not want to create another folder for it so for that you just have to give a space after the command and a type a dot so this dot represents that the Laravel project files uh, will be installed in this current directory so press enter and the laravel project files and folders dependencies and everything will be installed in your current directory so we will wait for it so as you can see the laravel project has been installed so now we will install the laravel front end scaffolding which will be laravel breeze with vue.js and inertia so for that we will head to the laravel website uh, we will go to the uh, installation page click on here get started and here search for composer so as you can see creating a Laravel project with composer so uh, this is the installation command and for installing the front end scaffolding uh, go to the sidebar and click on front end uh, or you or you can also click on starter kits so click on starter kit and click on breeze and react slash view okay so for this uh, first we have to install the breeze package for Laravel so copy this package and paste it and run it so this will install the Laravel breeze scaffolding uh, package for our Laravel project and after that we will install the actual Laravel breeze so after that we will use the command to install the breeze in our Laravel project and here we can also uh, select uh, which scaffolding we want so we want the view with inertia and uh, yeah we want the dark mode we want the past for testing so let it be completed and after that we will uh, jump to the next steps so here as you can see the laravel breeze scaffolding is now installed so after that uh, we have to add the database in our env file we'll go to the we will connect the database uh, we can write here view right app and we will create a, let me start the local server and then we will create a database in php admin start all the services i'm using mac so that's why you are seeing this interface in windows you will see a different interface for example let's uh, head back to the browser and uh, click on php my admin here we will add a new database will which will be view crud app so let's create it yeah it has been created and uh, after that now we will run our app and we will see if the app is running okay or we will execute the command php artisan serve and also the pm commands for initializing the front end scaffolding npm install you can also run the uh, commands separately or you can run these commands together like this npm install and then npm run that let's head back to the browser let's see so as you can see our app is running fine we'll go to the login page but first we have to migrate our database tables come on php artisan migrate and migrate yeah our table has been uh, migrated so let's see if our migrations has been migrated so yeah but uh, we don't have any uh, values or data in our users table so for that we have to run the seed which will run seed or uh, fake uh, data in our users table uh, by which we can uh, authenticate and login in so for that we will run a command which is php artisan migrate with fresh dash dash seed and this will run the database seeders which will uh, add the fake data in our users table oh uh, first of all let's enable the uh, cedar in our database which will be in cedars so yeah uh, it has been commented so uncomment this we only need a one data okay so uh, save this file again run the uh, command okay so now let's check so as you can see our test data has been migrated to the users table so by this we can log into the application password is uh, the default password okay so here is our application so now the main thing is that how to integrate or install font awesome in laravel inertia vue.js project uh, so for that we will head back to the browser and we will search for font awesome or vue.js and we will click on the first link set up with vue.js so this is all the documentation and get starting setup uh, which will give you a guide on how to set up a font awesome with vue.js so first we have to scroll down so here first step is to add the spg core package 
So I'm using npm. If you're if you are using yarn, so you can add the a yarn command. I'm using npm, so I will copy this command, and I will go to the terminal, paste the command, and click in. So our font awesome SVG core package is being installed. After that, we will head back to the next step which is add icon packages so here are the packages that you can install uh, for your font awesome icons we have the solid ones the, re the regular ones and the brand ones so if you only like the solid or regular or brands you can add it uh, separately or if you need only one so you can add only one package i need all of these uh, icons so i will uh, install all of these packages so i will add these step by step first i will run this command or terminal copy the command and run the command okay it is installed next i will run this command i will also need the regular icons and the brands also so that's why i'm running and installing all of these packages in my project and after that the last command which is for brands like facebook icon or social media icons okay so our packages have been installed so after that uh, you can uh, also see here the pro icon packages and you can also install the pro icon styles uh, but I don't need the pro icons because I only need simple font awesome icons, the regular solid and the brand ones. I only need the simple icons. So, okay, now head back to the uh, next step, which is the third step that is the view component. So, now we will also add the view component uh, to our Laravel project. We will install the view component to Laravel project. And here you can see we have two versions of, uh, for Vue.js the one is for Vue 2 and the one is for Vue 3. So, I am using Vue 3 and I will install this package. So copy this command and run the script. Sorry, run this command here in terminal. So this will install the font awesome a component for your Laravel project, the view project. And after that, we will add this component to our Laravel project. Okay, so we are done with installing packages. Now we will uh, click on this, add some icons. Okay, so here now we will add the font awesome component and we will import the uh, font awesome icons in our view project. And uh, this quick guide uh, tells you everything that uh, how you can do it. So uh, first we will add the library, we will copy this. So here we will go to the resources folder, JS folder and app.js. So the app.js is our main file for our uh, view, Laravel view inertia project, which will manage and control all of the uh, packages and import files and all of the components. So here we will first add the library, import the library here. After that, uh, we will import the font awesome icon. So yeah, we have imported the font awesome icon. And after that, uh, we will import the icon itself copy this and paste it here this is a solid icon for user and after that we will add this icon to the library like this as you can see you are just copy and pasting the uh, commands and stuff and you're good to go and at last we will add the font awesome icon component to our laravel view app so here after use function you can add it here okay so all the installation and importing steps are being done so now we will display the font awesome using the icon uh, in our blade files and in our browser so for that we will head back to the browser and we will now display the font awesome icon like this so for displaying the font awesome icon into the browser we will call uh, this component that we have added in our main.js at uh, the app.js file so copy this and uh, head back to the i think i will go to the dashboard yeah okay so uh, this is the dashboard that view and we will uh, display the icon here we'll add it here check as you can see the user icon has been added and is displayed in the browser so if you like to change the size or resize the icon so you can do it like this and you will write here excel it will change the size or 2xl or 3xl and you can play with all the sizes and uh, the size that you prefer you can use it so the 2xl is good for us okay so we have installed the font awesome icons in our Vue.js Laravel Inertia project so now uh, I want to give you one more quick tip on Vue.js which is so what if if I want to uh, add all of the icons like the solid ones the, the regular ones and the brands uh, I also want to add the brands so I can call them and I can display them in the, in the browser so for that we have to just remove this we have to add here pass uh, the pass uh, is uh, font awesome solid and this will call all of the free solid icons from font awesome for regular and we can just copy this and we can add here par par is for uh, font awesome regular icons and we have to change here also solid to regular and a fab for font awesome brands and we will also change this to brand okay so we have also imported the font awesome regular and brands icons 
So now we can use it, but first of all, we have to add it in our uh, library. So we have to, so we can add it like this and we can separate it with comma and for brand. Okay. So now let's just go to the dashboard, refresh the page, and let's just check if this works or not. So yeah, it's working all right. If I, yeah, it's working all right. If I uh, want to add uh, the user icon, simple user icon. So yeah, it's working. If I want to add uh, the uh, regular one, I will call class for solid, and I will call uh, for regular car. As you can see, let's separate these in separate lines. Yeah, as you can see, uh, the regular ones and the solid ones, and for brand, uh, we can call uh, the Facebook icon. So yeah, as you can see. It is so easy to add font or some icons in Laravel View Inertia JS project. Okay, so this was all the steps and installation procedure. So if my developers like the video, subscribe to my channel, check the bell icon, keep supporting, and stay tuned for more.